Hello, this is Dr. Laith Farjo. Today I wanted to talk about the modern treatment of knee arthritis with arthroscopy and stem cell therapy. I am an arthroscopic specialist practicing in Brighton, Michigan. Uh, my particular expertise is in joint preservation. I do very little joint replacement surgery. Knee arthroscopy has been utilized for decades to treat many disorders of the knee, particularly treating loose or torn cartilage in the knee. However, knee arthroscopy does not treat arthritis. Uh, many people don't understand that arthritis is separate from a meniscus tear. Arthritis is a thinning or a wearing out of the cartilage in your knee, sort of like the treads on your tires wearing out. Arthroscopic surgery can trim torn cartilage and remove loose cartilage, but it has no way of putting new cartilage back in place where it's been lost. And unfortunately, arthritis will keep progressing regardless of whether or not you have a knee arthroscopy. This is where the exciting new field of stem cell therapy comes in. Stem cell therapy uses these special cells in your body called stem cells. These cells are considered pluripotent, which means that they can become virtually any tissue in your body, including cartilage, which is what we're trying to address with arthritis. Your body has several stores of these stem cells, and we prefer to use bone marrow-derived stem cells from your iliac crest, which is one of your pelvic bones. Stem cell therapy is the first treatment that has ever been shown to fundamentally change the course of arthritis. Uh, studies have shown that it, stem cells can uh, regrow cartilage, that they can decrease inflammation in the joint, and also many studies have documented its safety. So how do we do this? First, we put the patient under anesthesia. Uh, they're having a knee arthroscopy. Most patients will choose to have a general anesthetic. Um, and because it's such a short time that they're going to be under about 30 minutes, it's very safe as well. We harvest bone marrow. What that means is that we stick a needle into one of your pelvic bones through a very small incision. The incision is so small we actually don't have to use sutures to close it. And we suck out some of the bone marrow. Of course, you're asleep through this whole process, so you don't feel that part. While a team processes the bone marrow to identify and isolate the stem cells in it, I am performing the arthroscopy in your knee to clean up uh, loose pieces of cartilage, torn meniscus, uh, and other debris that are floating in the knee in arthritis. At the end of the procedure, we inject the stem cells into your knee. Many patients often ask me, why perform the stem cell th uh, therapy and the arthroscopy together? Why not just do the stem cell therapy or just do the arthroscopy? Uh, first of all, one obvious reason is that um, the stem cell procedure is painless because you're under anesthesia for the arthroscopy anyway. Uh, but probably more importantly, most people with arthritis have symptomatic meniscus tears, meaning they're having a sharp pain, a catching, a clicking, a locking, in addition to the arthritic pain, which tends to be more of a deep aching pain. So the arthroscopy treats the meniscus tears and the sharp catching pains. The stem cell therapy uh, provides hopefully longer term care uh, and treatment of the arthritic symptoms. So why have this procedure done by an orthopedic surgeon as opposed to the many stem cell clinics that we see uh, that are now operating throughout the country? Um, as orthopedic surgeons, we are trained to fully diagnose all conditions in the knee. So obviously you can't treat somebody appropriately until you make a proper diagnosis. We don't just simply offer you injections when you walk in the door. Um, second, uh, we offer a full range of treatment, not just injections. Some patients will benefit from physical therapy, bracing. Uh, we do all types of injections as well. Uh, and then we also offer surgery. Uh, and not always arthroscopy. Sometimes uh, a patient's arthritis is just too severe uh, or the patient has other medical reasons why stem cell therapy doesn't work and we may recommend a knee replacement. Orthopedic surgeons are the only doctors that are permitted to perform surgery, arthroscopy, or knee replacement. And by going to see an orthopedic surgeon, you will be able to get the full range of treatment options, not just a very directed uh, treatment. So let's see what this procedure actually looks like. This is after I've harvested the bone marrow. You can see the inside of the knee. You see that frayed, shaggy cartilage. Um, that's the, the bottom of the femur bone uh, called the medial femoral condyle. And you can see I've got this metal device that's called a motorized shaver that's going through and smoothing the tissue. In the back there, the shaver is now trimming a torn meniscus. That meniscus, so those pieces of that meniscus can flip back and forth uh, and cause a patient's knee to catch or get stuck uh, or just cause sharp pains. Uh, so the arthritis is in the forefront. That's the, the shagginess of the cartilage. Uh, the meniscus tear is what I'm working on right now in the background there. This spot in the knee is called the medial compartment. That's the inside of your knee. Between the femur bone and the tibia bone, that's where the meniscus sits. 
From there, I'll move to the lateral compartment. This is the lateral compartment or the outside of your knee. This uh, red inflamed tissue is called synovitis that also can produce pain, especially if it pinches between the bones. Again, the femur is on the top and the tibia is on the bottom. And here I am trimming a small tear in the lateral meniscus, which is the outside meniscus. Uh, so you can see there's a little bit of fraying of the tissues here. This compartment in this patient is much less severely affected by the arthritis or by the meniscus tearing uh, as compared to the medial compartment that we saw earlier. Now I've moved the scope to the patellofemoral compartment. This is right underneath your kneecap. The kneecap is directly on the top of the screen and the femur bone is, is beneath it. Uh, again, you saw that red inflamed tissue that we're removing with this um, mechanized shaver. Uh, the shaver is also being used to remove loose pieces of cartilage. That's the arthritis there. You see there's sort of a, a pothole in the center of the cartilage. That's what arthritis looks like. It's a loss of cartilage. Uh, and before stem cell therapy, we would just simply uh, leave these potholes and then hope that they wouldn't get bigger for some time and the patients would at least get a few years of pain relief. Once we're done cleaning up the knee, we're going to suck all the fluid out of the knee. All that procedure was done underwater. Uh, and so you can see me using this needle to uh, basically drain all that excess fluid from the knee. And then finally, you're going to see me injecting the stem cells here. These are the red cells going into the knee. So after the surgery, patients typically uh, stay in the recovery room for about an hour, and then they go home the same day. So this is an outpatient procedure. Uh, I allow patients to weight bear immediately, so I don't have them uh, use crutches uh, any longer than they feel like they need to for stability. It's usually a day or two for most patients. Um, there is a gradual return to activity in sports, uh, usually over the course of several weeks. Uh, and most patients will notice improvement in the knee uh, within one or two weeks, and that's really from cleaning up the torn pieces of cartilage and the meniscus. The stem cells work over the course of about six to 12 months to help restore the joint. And so patients will initially see that uh, immediate improvement from the removal of the loose and torn cartilage, but then gradual continual improvements over the course of six to 12 months as their knee continues to heal. Thank you for your attention. If you'd like to learn more about our stem cell treatments, please visit our website at www.advancedortho.net uh, or certainly give us a call to make an appointment if you feel that uh, this procedure may be right for you.